So I'll give you the, uh, uh, the Christmas dinner. Right, so we bring a bit of happiness to the mm. situation. <laughs> bit so, of calm. Yeah, yeah. A bit of calm, bit of love, bit of love. Bro. So we're in, mm. and this is an officer helping out people in prison. So this officer, he got arrested with uh, eight bottles of, eight one and a half litre bottles of vodka, one kilo of cannabis resin, two mobile phones, um, I think it was, well, he never actually got charged with the MDMA, heroin and crack because apparently someone chopped the one of the bars in half, dug out the, ha the hole and then filled the hole and then stuck the bar back together. So they might not have found it. I think they did find it, but they might have given him a squeeze. But um, that was how the parcels used to come in before. So you had the class A's, everything. So some Christmas day we got, um, Dinner, I think, how many people? I think 18 people we've done Christmas dinner for this day. So basically what is, coming up to Christmas day, I'm asking all the chaps on the wing, because you can cook, you've got a kitchen what, at the what, top. What Nick Marvin, just to explain, because a lot of people, okay, so like I'm strange in, ways, I'm kitchens in, right, we're, food. We're, 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 in, we're, in, we're in Swellside, which is a category B trainer, stroke. It's like, it's, 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 it's like where you're going to go if you're going to be a Cat A prisoner or where you go when you're coming down from being a Cat A prisoner. So it's like the, the turning point for your categorisation within the prison system. After after Swellside, you're either going dispersal, which is all Cat A, or you're going C Cat or D Cat. Do you know what I mean? So it's like a, it's a, it's a weird prison. Like it's, it's got the A Cat prisoners in there that are come off the book or they're going to get styled up and get put on the book, either or either, but it's just a wild environment. It's just crazy, like the stabbings. I've been, I think there have been a couple of killings in there. Like our geezer I know got stabbed straight through the neck. Other people I know been plunged up. Now like, it's just a, a crazy jail, right? So basically, I was a very violent individual. So when I was in prison, I had certain rules on the wing. Da, da, da. So anyway, cut a long story short. Um, this officer got nicked with the puff, but prior, prior to the New Year's, because that was 2006, I think it was, he got arrested coming through the gate on the 6th of January. So the Christmas party that we'd had prior was, uh, how do I remember it? Right, how do we remember it? So I had, uh, we had, believe it or not, we had roast chicken, a leg of lamb, Joint of beef, a turkey, chicken, leg of lamb, roast beef, a turkey. And then in between one bit of meat, there'd be roast potatoes. In between the other bit of meat, there'd be broccoli. And then other greens all the way down there. Like we had, I think, everyone knows the tables that you get in prison. So you get a table that sits six people on it, right? So then we had, I think, six of them tables lined up in the TV room, right? So you've got a long table, with uh, food, like you had meat, potato, veg, meat, potato, veg, meat, potato, veg, meat, potato, veg, and then all the desserts cooked up. There was people in there that cooked um, cakes and uh, so we had all these spread up. We had um, each table, each chair had a little bucket next to it because we had, I think it was 12 litres of ooch, <laughs> right? So everyone around the dinner, right, was drinking ooch and then the heads of the table were drinking vodka. Because obviously vodka's a little bit too much to share without, without the whole prison, right? So we're drinking vodka, a couple of people drinking, and we've had our dinner. So we're in there all day, um, eating, celebrating. A couple of screws come in, said, do you want to have something to eat? They're like, nah. But we're in there just, just eating, drinking, having a great time. Like, you can't... You can't imagine it, you just got to be there, do you know what I mean? But it was like a banquet, it was like a proper table full of food, all the most sensible people on the wing sitting around. And do you know what? The comments are going to talk for themselves because you'll see, because people are going to be saying, bruv, I'm telling you, I heard about it because my food boat was called the Titanic in Swellside. And when I got moved out, that's when they said, oh, the Titanic sunk. Like That was a running joke when I left the jail because I got ghosted out there because Martin Nelson, the officer, and if you look him up on the... Um, in the internet, you'll see he got arrested, got two and a half years for bringing a kilo, 998 grams of cannabis, a few phones and stuff like that. He was the number one governor's son. Two and a half years, that all? Yeah. Yeah, but he's a fucking prison officer, isn't it? 
It's a prison officer, mate. So they're, they're going to look after their own. And it was the governor, the number one governor's son. He pleaded guilty. He made give him all the information he needed to give him. So, I mean, he threw me to the wall, said I've been threatening him, photos of his family. Thought, and I intimidated him and I threw him, I threatened him. But I paid him £1,500 a month. Like, don't make sense, does it? No. Why am I going to threaten you but pay you £1,500 a month? <laughs> 